Roger, dude, hit me up on Twitter, man. Let me know. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, how about this news? Uh, it's not official yet, but I did see Rodney Pete, the former USC Trojan quarterback, uh, say that Andy Enfield is going to take the SMU job. Now, if that happens, it, see, if I was Louisville, I would call Andy Enfield. I would trust that more than I would trust Richard Patino Jr. But you know, there's other coaches that I would call too. But uh, this would be very interesting for SMU. I think they would actually become a tournament team because I think they have money. And to leave USC for SMU, kind of a power play there. Well, if this happens, what do you make of this one? Um, I, I think he's going to create a domino. I, I mean, Enfield's done a good job there, but it does seem like he is ready for a change of pace. And I think he fits SMU. I mean, plays an entertaining style of basketball. He's if he gets players, he's he kind of plays open. I mean, we 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 knew him as Dunk City when, at Florida Gulf Coast. Open it up, throw alley oops. It's entertaining brand of basketball. So SMU, the Pony Express, could be back, baby. Yeah, it really could, and. uh yeah, I mean, I just feel like uh, that was a little bit shocking, I guess. Um, some other some other news and notes that I have here listed. Uh, well, first off, I guess I should talk about Duquesne's going to name Drew Joyce Jr. their assistant, their next head coach at Duquesne, apparently. Uh, also, I've heard Johnny Dawkins is going to get extended at UCF. Bucky McMillan extended at Samford. An interesting one here is Mike DeGeorge got named Cal Poly head coach. So the reason why that went substantial, I know people have been tweeting about this. He uh, did, did great with uh, Colorado Mesa D two program. Also Rhodes college, a D three program. Other hires, Jerry McNamara, former Syracuse guard to Sienna, Paul Cosaro to, to, to IUPUI, Ui Pui. And then Cornelius Jackson's taking over for Dan D'Antoni at Marshall. I thought, I thought it was going to be hugs. Thought it was going to be hugs. Um, <laughs> I mean, that, what do you make? I mean, I know I just spewed a bunch of names that you do. Any stand out to you? The one at Marshall's puzzling because they weren't winning, but 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 at Duquesne, I mean, they had had their best year in program history. It feels like, or in forty years, um, that one made sense. And obviously, Dan Brock retires, leaves it off. But to push out uh, Dan Tony to hire the interim and then give him a two year deal was puzzling. I know he played there, Cornelius, but I I didn't see that one coming. Marshall's yeah, a weird job. A, weird it place. Is. It is. You know, I mean, I'm, I mean, I think you're talking about high. Clark's alma mater. Or no, I think he only spent a year or two there. But uh, I still felt like that was uh, noteworthy. Also, noteworthy was the portal today. Um, you see Katie Johnson for Auburn hit the portal? Yeah. Uh, how does he have any eligibility left? <laughs> it's college basketball. Like- I was just thinking about this. Someone put a list. I should have retweeted this. Someone put a list of how many six, seven and eight year players were in the NCAA tournament. That was a long ass list. Mm -hmm. Um, I I was a bit surprised because Auburn kind of has NIL money. And then the big one is South Carolina's Michi Johnson who played great this year for them. I thought he's back in the portal. Is he going to go back to Ohio state now that, uh, is that the, the word on the street there? Now that uh, they got old Eagle. loser Holtman over there to Chicago. Um, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll stop nodding my head for the audio listeners and just say, yeah, that's the, that's the rumor. Uh, Diebler Why getting the gang back together. Hear me out though. Wait, does he have a, a bro? Do you see a, 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 like a connection to Ohio state? Who? I guess. Michi. Yeah. So I, is I he from, is he from Ohio. The well, I know he was previously at Ohio State, but I was he, wondering. He like, you just had a, personal reasons or something. But you just had a great year at South Carolina under you know Lamont Paris, who I thought really like kind of let him do his thing. Born in Cleveland. Uh, my point is though is that if you come back for a second year, you're probably going to be better at South Carolina. You go farther in March. I think it's a questionable move unless there's not a shit ton of money behind it, which is certainly possible because Ohio state has fuck you money, but a bit of surprise there, Mac with both. Really? I was surprised with Katie Johnson too. 
Shit. I, I mean, I'm not going to lie. None of these fucking moves surprise me anymore. <laughs> it's yeah, everybody's fucking transferring left and right. I mean, you got guys that were the main guy and played 35 minutes, shot every shot, fucking ent- entering the portal. Everybody's chasing that bag, as they like to say. So uh, the grass isn't always green around the other side for, for some of these guys. So be careful. So that's, that's my only advice. But it's my get off my lawn uh, advice for tonight. Shout out to Now we got a problem. I'm sorry. And I'll I'm double sorry. down from what I said last night. Why the fuck do we have this many people in the portal before Sweet 16 games? Push the fucking <laughs> date by, behind what? the final. Wait, 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 I don't get Goodman. <laughs> right, man. Goodman tweeted out that total number today, by the way. It finally now reached your number of 900. Yeah. I mean, I was exactly. You know, a lot of people go to college now? for seven years. Yeah, it's 900 now. Well, some of the names that came in today, I thought were like, wow. Okay. Uh, I, I mean, I saw Iowa's Tony Perkins hit like what, two days ago, but he's good. Yeah. M- Micah For, Peavy from TCU hit the portal today. Yeah. To, to go back on uh, coaching real quick, and then we'll get back to the transfer portal. Rob asks uh, about IUPUI's head coaching opening. They actually got their guy. Uh, we were Talking from what Indian, Indianapolis University or something, right? Yeah, we were talking to yeah. an IUPUI rep over the week, and this is the guy that he said keep an eye on. It was uh U Indy's head coach, Paul Corsero. So he's an he's an Indianapolis you uh Indianapolis native, and uh he had taken U Indy to two tournaments in the D2 ranks. So now uh they got a nice regional local guy as their head coach, and good luck to them. Terrence Edwards from James Madison hit the portal too. That uh, that one's expected to me. Once the coach that leaves, yeah. Andy. Or, or just best opportunity your coach leaves. Fuck it, let me go cash in. I, I'm not going to blame yeah. like the like the 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 other ones of like Michi Johnson and Katie Johnson were a bit shocking to me. Even the Micah Peavy one a little bit. I saw uh, a Jai went to to from Pepperdine to Gonzaga. Yeah. Gonzaga's that not in the tournament me. or anything. They're fucking yeah. They're Glad to see they're doing good work. Glad to see they're uh, preparing for Purdue. Um, <laughs> Isaiah, <laughs> fuck. yeah. <laughs> Since we're mentioning portal names, too, mention Max list that he made yesterday, or Mac, if you want to pull that up, because I think Colby's going off of today's names. I'm just uh, just quickly jotted these down uh, while I was refreshing my computer. Uh, yeah, Malik Mack of Harvard, who was a stud this season. Yeah. He he should get some pretty good attention. I would think. Zeke Mayo. Yeah, I mean, they're so stupid. The sport is so stupid. Why not put this three weeks from now? I don't mind most of these players hitting the portal. I mean, I would question some of them, but it just doesn't make so, so sense to do some, it. Let's do some basic math here. There's 360 teams. We have 16 in the NCAA tournament playing. We have we got two eliminate or. We have seven now in the NIT, so it's 23 teams, and we have three left in the CBI. So that's how many teams? 26 teams. 360 minus, what, 26? Around 330. There's 900 names, so you're telling me we're averaging three players a program already in the fucking portal, and we're not even at the Sweet 16 yet. Unbelievable. What the fuck is wrong with this sport? Unbelievable. I mean... But it's just classic. I want to know, like, whose idea was this? Because it's it, at least the football one. You have a little bit. Football one still makes no sense to me. But it, I understand yeah. the academic calendar. So you're saying to get in classes, you got to be some schools start like January fifth. Uh, the this one makes no fucking sense. This one is just like, no, nah, let's put it this day. Let's put it this day. Clearly, it's like they they gave it no thought. They gave they gave it absolutely yeah. no thought. You know, much like the NFL and this fucking silly ass kickoff rule.